Ah, peeps, how are you all doing? Hey, what a glorious afternoon this is, and what a week I've had. Started off on Monday, uh, some of the roads around our village closed off, so yeah, after doing my uh, training, I finally got into doing some actual uh, duties itself, closing roads off and so on. So that's been a busy time for me, Monday and Tuesday. Then yesterday, mug and mingle in the village, a little coffee morning. Great to see our regulars, even better to see a few people that turned up last week return for another session this week. Um, so they must be enjoying it, so that's the main thing. This morning, yeah, obviously, I've looked at this weather and I thought, Nobs, you can't turn this one down, mate. Yeah, you've got to get out and do some tabbing. So I'm going to do a quick five miler before I have to get back and do my lollipop duties at the village school but I hope you all are uh, doing well hope you're enjoying life uh, take every day as it comes that's the way that I look at it now yeah, every time that I uh, wake up in the morning that's a bonus so one of the things I want to talk about today for the veteran community out there not sure you may all be aware but you can register at your doctors your GP surgery yeah, as being a veteran. Yeah, so if you haven't done so, yeah, get yourselves out there, get yourselves registered as a veteran. While you're there, have a word with your surgery and ask them if they've become uh, recognised as a veteran-friendly accreditation. Now, what that does is if they get themselves registered, they can then apply for grants and so on to help with the veterans but don't only assist the veterans to be honest we're talking things such as PTSD now a lot of people think of PTSD and reckon it's only squaddies or ex-service people that suffer with PTSD but it's not yeah we've got the emergency services police fire ambulance they deal with trauma virtually every single day there are other people that suffer from trauma, one of them being my dad. My dad, before he joined the army, worked on the railways. And something happened on the railways where a person was killed. And dad suffers with PTSD from that. And I mean, we're going back to the sort of 50s uh, when that happened. But dad is registered as being a PTSD sufferer. And with the assistance of the councillors and that, they figured out that it had nothing to do with his military career, it had to do with his time before he joined the military. Yeah, so, with the surgeries getting assistance through the Veterans Accreditation, yeah, we're not only going to be helping the veteran community, but we're also going to help all those people out there that do suffer with things such as PTSD. Yeah, and that's the big thing. Yeah. We need to band together and start helping one another. Uh, if you look at today's society, everything's me, 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 or the way that I look at it at the moment, it seems to be. Uh, whereas I'm one of those, if I can help someone, I will do. Uh, I've retired from working in IT, had a veteran turn up yesterday, got a problem with his laptop, left it with me. This morning I've repaired it, and I'm gonna go and drop it back off to him. But it's not only a veteran that I would do that for, it's anyone that needs any sort of assistance on IT. I used to be a vehicle electrician and I've helped several people in the past in regards to problems with their cars. Yeah, I must admit, today's modern cars, um, I do struggle a bit because you now need a computer to plug in and do all the diagnostic tests, whereas years ago, it will be hanging eye checks and following the wiring diagram. But where I can help, I will do. And that's what I want to bring back to people. Yeah? Let's stop being selfish. Let's start looking at each other and seeing how we can assist one another. Now, in our village, I've posted on the app next door. At the moment, I'm looking for an assistant in regards to the flood warden. Um, roll. Yeah, it's great that I can do it, but what happens if I'm away? 
So if you want to get yourselves involved in your community, have a look and see what you can do. Get in touch with your parish council and see what you can assist with. When it comes down to county council, uh, like I say, I'm the lollipop man for um, the school here in Mount Sorrel. I've had to go through the county council for that one. And when I look at the list of schools within Leicestershire that are crying out for a lollipop person, it's unbelievable. Yeah. There must be people out there like myself that got a spare bit of time, yeah, where you can go and get in, in interactive with your community. Um, I've now been doing it since February, and everyone knows who I am. I'll get recognised around the village. Yeah, everyone, if it's not Nobby, it's oh, that's the lollipop man. Um, there's interaction with the rest of the villagers. That's the big thing. Yeah, so if you can do it, yeah, get onto your local county council site, see if you can get onto the link for your crossing patrol officer, have a look at the list of the schools, and if you've got a school nearby and you can spare 35 to 40 minutes a morning and again in the afternoon, so that we can enable the kids to cross safely, yeah, it helps. Anyway, like I say, it's a quick tab out. Uh, only down to the reservoir this morning, or this afternoon, I should say. Now, yeah, down to the reservoir and back, uh, and then obviously get myself showered and get myself uh, all sorted out, ready for the duties this afternoon. So anyway, hope everyone's well. Take care of yourselves, and while the sun shines out there, get out and enjoy it. Take care.